Oh, yeah. Good morning, everybody. Taking a look at that gator. That's <laughs> right. That gators are here. We are live in Gainesville here for our pregame show. I'm DJ Williams, joined alongside Tara Talmadge. And, uh, Tara, I'm excited. Yeah. I accidentally uh, I thought I had my shirt on. And nope. I realized the only thing I got is a sweatshirt. <laughs> it's a little toasty down here, you know, but we're having a good time here in Gainesville. This is honestly the best day that we've had weather-wise since we got down here yeah. on Thursday. Maybe it's a good sign. It maybe <laughs> it is a good sign. I'm pumped up about it. But, you know, the people who did not make the trip, you know, let's go yeah. ahead and go back to Northwest Arkansas, Picture Nation Studio, joined in by Alyssa Orange and Mike Irwin. Now, Alyssa, you know, there's something about you and these gators that just don't sit very well. <laughs> we don't need to get into that. That's a long story of just animosity, <laughs> and we don't need to get into it. But I will tell you this, everybody better be happy that this game is in Gainesville because it is ugly, rainy, stormy in Fayetteville, guys. Yeah, we got this big monitor <laughs> in the studio that shows the stadium, and it's got the weather and all the rain and all the garbage. Uh -huh. I'm glad I'm not over there. I would be yeah. okay with where you are, but yeah. I'm fine right here in the studio. Yeah, we're having some fun yeah. back here. <laughs> You know what's super cute? Now, listen, you wouldn't be mad at this. Uh, as y'all were talking, we just had some cool Razorback fans show up. I wish we had another camera to show that. Don't worry, I'm going to get a picture. I'm going to tweet it so we can show it later. You know, but one thing, we got the Razorback fans here in, in attendance. One thing we will be missing today, however, yeah. Tara, is our head coach, Sam Pittman. We know he tested positive for COVID-19. He's not going to be able to make the trip. You know, we're just trying to figure out how that's going to impact this team. <laughs> we're in good hands with Barry Odom, but yeah. here's what the head coach had to say about not making the trip this weekend. I'll be out here watching it by myself. I might get Lucy, my bulldog, come out here with me. But I'd be lying to you if it's, I'm not a little somewhat depressed, you know. That's why you get into coaching, to go see your kids play, you know, see their face, see them play. You know, I, I was looking forward to visiting with Coach Mullen. You know, I haven't, I've never talked to him. I, I enjoy those times before the game. And, you know, we're all competitors, and I wanted to go uh, be a part of the competition. Yeah, uh, Pittman brings a different kind of juice, you know, he especially really after you win, he turns, says, turn that jukebox up, you know, but, <laughs> you know, he's just really brought a different type of life to this team, I one agree. that Razorback fans of old are like, I remember that type of Razorback on the football uh -huh. field. Sam Pittman not being here, you know it yeah. has to break your heart. How do you think the players are going to respond? Oh, uh, you know what, I think it's, it, they can't really focus on that too much going no. into this game. It's a big game for them yeah. and you can't afford to just be wondering oh man I wish Sam was here because oh, yeah. you know what they ha he trusts Barry Odom yeah. as well I think they're in good hands it's not like it's Barry Odom's first time head Absolutely. coaching so I'm sure that they can juggle things but you know what what's that it's a big game for Felipe Franks it is a big too. game for Felipe <laughs> Franks yes, he's it is. returning back here to Gainesville of course that is probably the biggest uh, storyline in this entire game and for those of you who don't know let me just catch you up on this one Felipe Franks used to play for Florida had a season in injury, which is when Kyle Trask stepped in, and eventually Felipe decided he wanted to transfer to Arkansas. It's worked out well for the Razorbacks. I think mm -hmm. we're all glad to have him here in Fayetteville, but you know what? There's no hard feelings no. between the Florida Gators and Felipe Franks. It seems like they're all pretty good friends still, and this is what Felipe had to say. It's going to be uh, kind of just crazy, like not necessarily emotionally for me, but I mean, I love all those guys on the staff and, and the players, and um, and it'll just be fun to get back out there to play again in the swamp. These guys uh, uh, here are ready and excited to play. Florida's a, a really good team. I still communicate with those guys. It'll be a fun game. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I think it'll be a huge motivation for him and, and for their team to get his back to try to help him win. Uh, you know, and then motivation for our guys to want to go compete and, and beat one of their friends. Really proud of, of him. You know, Felipe is like family to me. Um, you know, I love him to death, so... Uh, really excited for him. You know, I know he's probably excited to get back here and, and, and get a chance to play in the swamp. He definitely had a, his little chirping battles with the defense over whether or not he would run somebody over on a certain play or not. But uh, Saturday, we're going to really get to see what uh, if, if he bought that or if, if we bought that. So we'll see. Yeah, you know, I think that Felipe is still obviously good friends with everyone. But at the same time, you want to come out with a win in oh, this Oh, there's going to be a little edge. I need a play where, he, you know, he gets a first down, he gets up. He kind of does like this little he does the shoulder thing, kind of feels good about it. I need, I need a couple of those. I love that swagger. It's not over the top. It's just enough to just let you enough. know, hey, I am that guy, you know. So we're having fun here. I just learned something new here about, you know, we 10 seconds ago. Yeah, I got, I, got, uh, I got educated. We'll fill you in with that a little bit later. But let's go ahead and head back up to Northwest Arkansas, Pildred Control uh, Nation Studio. Alyssa and Mike, yeah. you're going to talk more about that guy who's 
playing interim head coach with Barry yeah. Odom, right? Yeah, I hope you learned who Danny Warfel is. Okay, so yeah, we're going to talk about Barry Odom and obviously stepping in for Arkansas today with Sam Pittman's absence. And we've talked about this before, Mike, all week long that there's no concern with Barry Odom taking over the reins because obviously he's been a head coach in the SEC East, facing the Florida Gators four times going two and two during that span and he knows what kind of hostile environment the swampies is he's won there before but most importantly the calls the game awareness the clock management as a head coach he's handled it and he's done it he's done it before he's been good at it before um you know, he got fired with a bowl eligible team. He's won eight games at Missouri. You know, I just got to get out of the way and let him do his thing on Saturday, and that's what I'm going to do. I think he'll handle it pretty well. You know, he was the old head coach in Missouri, and he's a pretty good defensive coordinator, and he seems very meticulous on the things that he's supposed to do. He does things right, and I just feel like he won't really have a problem with it. I can guarantee you, and no, no Barry, as, as a professional also, is going to, the message that Sam gives, I mean, they're not going to change the personality they've had as a team. You know, it's funny because as he takes over in this one game, there's some coaches or some teams out there that might be looking at Barry Odom for their next head coach. Of course, Arkansas fans are like, nope, can't have him, can't have him. We're not going to give him to you. But this is what I think, Mike. When you look at Barry Odom compared to a guy like maybe Barry Lunny, Barry Lunny stepped in last year for Chad Morris and. There were some times in that Missouri and LSU games where he, you know, didn't really know what to do. What do you do here? What is the play call? How do I handle this situation? Barry Odom won't have to deal with any of that. Yeah, I, I think he's way more than qualified to do this job today, as we've already mentioned. I mean, he's already won down there. He won big two years ago, two and two against Florida as a head coach. But look, this is uncharted territory. I don't know of another situation, certainly not in the 45 years that I've covered the team, that the head coach is not with the team except on those rare occasions when the coach has been fired. Uh, mm -hmm. Jack Crow got fired, Joe Kynes took over. Players actually like Kynes better, so that was good. Same thing with Chad Morris. They like Barry Lunny more than Chad Morris, so that wasn't a problem. But this is a guy that's really popular. And I don't know how they're going to react to him not being there. Now, what they may do is go, you know, they know how badly he feels about being there, and they don't want him to be punished because if they lose this game, it kind of makes Pittman feel worse. Mm -hmm. So they may go out and play like crazy, or they may just sit around and go, where's coach? Uh, we didn't get our speech. Yeah, We're not there. <laughs> we don't know. Yeah, well, I, I don't think it's going to take a lot. We've seen it with this team before to get this team motivated for any kind of matchup. So that's the good news there. Uh, but I, I, I have full confidence in Barry Oda. I'm not worried at all. I don't think, again, we've heard Sam Pittman said he's not worried either, guys. And DJ, you know I was just messing with you. But really, it's Danny Warfel, man. You know what you just did <laughs> a while ago? You called it the swampy. My, my the bad. Swampy. It is swampy. The swamp. <laughs> Hey, I, I, I think that this statue shouldn't even be here. I think no, it needs to be a, you a right. Jerry McFadden statue should in Fayetteville. You're so right. Yeah, yeah, you're so right. You're so right. You're so right. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll, we'll check back with you all a little later. And uh, to their point with the coach not being mm -hmm. here, Terry, it's just about the attention to details, yeah. making sure you don't have any delay of games, knowing you're in four down, Terry. The little things that head coaches right. just need to be aware of. But 